Taliban bans women from TV dramas. On November 21st, the Taliban issued a guideline to broadcasters banning women from appearing in television soap operas and entertainment shows. It also mandates that female journalists and news presenters wear headscarves, although the exact type of covering hasn't been specified. The new guideline issued by the Ministry for the Propagation of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice contained eight directives. These include a prohibition on films that, quote, uh, promote foreign culture and values and films that include men exposing their intimate body parts. The Taliban's restrictions are slowly mounting. This time they're imposed on the airwaves. The guidelines also, also direct broadcasters to ensure that entertainment and comedy are not quote, based on insulting others, not, nor for the insult of human dignity and Islamic values. This includes shows or any footage that depicts the Islamic prophets and their disciples. Despite their initial statements to establish a more moderate appearance, the recent actions from the Taliban are starting to overwhelm their previous rhetoric. I have, I have a question. How could you have dramas with that woman? Actually, is that possible? So like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I mean, isn't that it? Aren't aren't women like the main source for of drama? I mean, I don't know. There are some people who would be like ripping their hair over that being the sexist comment. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's why I'm saying it. Um, or we could, it, we could to, try to counter them. You could say that men's contentions in fighting over women is one of the main sources of drama, which I, I think know. is also true. You saved, you saved me. Um, oh, yeah, here they're saying maybe gay dramas. <laughs> <laughs> in Afghanistan, sure, sure. Um, well, we could try. We could have, like, TV dramas with just men, and Afghanistan could try showing us that there is – we could have drama with just men. That would be amazing. I highly doubt that would be possible. Um, yeah. Maybe, I mean, it would and, probably involve women, just not on screen. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just men fighting over a woman that you would never see. That's fine. <laughs> that would be its own brand of comedy. Um, I mean, okay. I, okay. Here, yeah, to be fair, to be fair, women are the main source of drama. But men are the main source of violence. So there you go. So which one do you want to be more responsible for? Right. So I I mean drama over violence. I think that's less 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 evil, I guess. Um I think it depends on what type of drama. So yeah. Ghost Bunny saying yeah. Armin Shakespeare once had all men cast it, I'm pretty sure. No, that was the well, norm I mean, in Shakespearean theater. Well, yeah, but they had men dressed up as women because yeah, yeah, it was at that time women couldn't. Hey, maybe that's what they should. That's what Taliban should <gasps> allow, because that was that was a Victorian. They they didn't have women actors back then either, so women yeah. had to dress up as women. So TV dramas in Afghanistan where you have men dressing up as the women playing the women's roles. No, but you're not allowed to do that. There's a hadith against that. You're not allowed to dress up as I the opposite sh sex. I was, I was, you ruined it. I was trying to get them. <laughs> I was trying to get them sneak. Like I was trying to Brother, sneak that's cross, problem. sneaking cross dressing in Afghanistan. And you just like, <laughs> yeah, you, you told them you did. It didn't work. Um, anyways. Well, great. Um, Taliban is just Talibaning, I guess, mm -hmm, as we mm -hmm. expected. However, I, I, here's one thing, actually. Okay. The Talibaning that the Taliban is doing is not the, still the same level as the Talibaning they did 20 years ago. Okay, so if we said that they might be Talibaning less than before, th these are not evidence that we have been wrong because it's it's not even. Oh, here's an example. Okay, they're saying the Taliban today is saying no woman. In TV dramas, the Taliban 20 years ago was so, was saying no TVs. Period. They were smashing TVs. Okay, so don't use these examples 
for us. And I, I also know that, oh, don't, I'm not saying Taliban good now, okay? Don't come at me like that. I'm not saying that, and they're not doing this out of the kindness of their heart or anything, okay? I know they're just being strategic, okay? But again, don't tell me that the strategies haven't changed, okay? You can see how big of a change it is where they're allowing TV, TV to begin with, okay? So there is still a major difference from the Taliban 20 years ago. Um, yeah, it's interesting that they still allow female journalists on TV. They just have to have some form of hijab. Well, it, on. Not, not only they're allowing them, apparently top officials in the Taliban love being interviewed by women journalists. Like I keep seeing like this Haqqani guy was being interviewed by a female journalist. So, the like, Haqqani? Okay. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Bunny's comment is funny. And Ghost Bunny is saying, Armin, you never met my ex. He was the king of drama and violence. <laughs> I'd, oh, shit. Okay, I thought that was funny until I realized what she was saying. The violence as well? Okay, never mind. Sorry, I take my laughter back. Um, yeah, so what is this? Uh, Megumin is burqa. saying, men in full burqa and niqab. But if they act as women, they must also shave, which is also Taliban. <laughs> okay, so the, mm. the beard shaving, that was something we reported on, but that was only in one specific province. I do have to clarify. It's one specific province or city. I do see that um, people who are, men who are shopping for burqas um, in, you know, in Afghanistan, they have men wearing it just so that they could see how it would, if it's because they can't try oh the women, right? Yeah. So he, he, I saw videos of the men actually putting on the burqas when we were, they were shopping for burqas for their wives or daughters or whatever. Do you um, have a changing room for this? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of how in Nigeria they banned mannequins and mannequin heads. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they said it's shirk. <laughs> um yeah actually yeah because you might actually end up worshiping i mean if yeah one of those things there were a lot of journalists who came forward about all of these different directives that they recently put forward and said that they're they're so a lot of them are extremely vague so the possibility of this being correctly enforced may mean that broadcasters just have to shut down because they're not as clear as they should be about like what is an insult to Afghan and Islamic values? That's so vague. Like you have to just know what's yeah. Actually, that's a very, very important point, Susan. I'm glad you made a lot of the censorship right now that is happening in Afghanistan is not being done by the Taliban, it's being done by the confusion. Because the Taliban, the Taliban, a lot of the Taliban is not going out and like investigating what to shut down or what not to shut down. And you get contradictory reports from this branch of some of them are, and then some of them go shut something down. And then the head of Taliban are like, oh, they shouldn't have done that. They should have allowed it. And sometimes they're like, oh, women can study, but they, they can't at this age. They can maybe one day. Um and, and the, you know, and, and and they keep saying things that are contradictory, and they're like, we have to wait and see. But like there's no enforcement in shutting a lot of this down, but people are like, well, I'm not going to, people are like, I'm just not going to risk it. Like, for example, they're not telling you that you need to have a beard, but some people are like, I'm not going to shave. I don't know what's going to happen. Right. <laughs> like there are a lot of people that are um, not sending, um, you know, classes have been closed. Nobody's no, there's no Taliban shutting them, coming and shutting them down. They're like, I don't know what's allowed. And I don't want to, like the school, either, either the censorship, sorry, the shutdowns are happening by the schools themselves or the parents that are like, I'm not going to send my daughter here or there. I don't know what's allowed right now. Right. So a, a lot of the people are like, what are, if the Taliban is not shutting these things down, why are things are getting shut down? Is because people are not willing to take the risk because they don't know who's in charge and what is, what is allowed. So they might as well just not do anything. Right. So that's how it's working right now. It's, it's kind of sad very sad there's not much but by the way if you if you ask how how um how is government taliban governing in the past like they've been in charge like about, about 100 days now right um the answer is they're not <laughs> like there is really like there is no bad governance or good, or good governance right now there's just like they're not doing much 
there's like nothing is happening. That that's the main theme of Taliban in charge right now. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.